Liverpool take all three points back to Merseyside with a 2-1 victory at Stamford Bridge. Watch until the end of this review to hear all of my thoughts on yesterday's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my review of the game which took place yesterday afternoon at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League between Chelsea and Liverpool, which Chelsea ended up losing by two goals to one. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly, I'll be giving you guys the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match, I'll then be giving you guys my thoughts on the match itself, and I'll of course be including the positives and the negatives in which I I've taken from yesterday's match and lastly I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Carabao Cup fixture which will be played at Stafford Bridge on Wednesday night against Grimsby Town so without further ado let's get straight into this review so kicking things off with the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match and as always starting off with the formation he did go with a 4 3 3, and to be honest with you guys, it was expected because of the fact that he has come out and said that he wants to be adaptable. And I know I've mentioned that in my recent videos, but yes, Frank Lampard did go with a 4 3 3. And in terms of the personnel in which he chose to start the game, he went with Kepper and goal, he went with a back four from right to left of Cesar Aspilqueta, Andres Christensen, Fikeo Tomori, and Emerson Palmieri. He went with a midfield three of Jorginho, Engolo Kante, and Mateo Kovacic. And he went with a front three from right to left of Willian, Tammy Abraham, and Mason Mount. So that is the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match. I know that there are a lot of you who are calling for Christian Pulisic to start. I do not know what is going on between them two. There are rumours that um, Christian. Pulisic has fallen out of favour under Frank Lampard. I don't believe that is true, but at the end of the day, that is the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match. Now for my thoughts on the match itself, and as always, starting off with the first half. I felt as though both sides made a decent start to the match, and Chelsea looked as though they wanted to try and hit Liverpool on the counter-attack, or catch them out on the counter-attack, shall I say. Neither side created um, too many chances in the opening exchanges of the match, however Liverpool did make it 1-0 through Trent Alexander-Arnold and it was assisted by Mohamed Salah. It did come from a free kick from close range, it was a brilliant strike, however I do believe that we could have done a lot better to um, block the shot or try to block the shot because that was a ferocious shot and Kepa had no chance with that. Emerson Palmieri did end up coming off the pitch. Um, with an injury straight after we went 1-0 down and it was Marcos Alonso who replaced him. Fakir Tomori did get booked for a challenge on Jordan Henderson and after seeing it a few times it didn't look as though he actually touched him and Fakir Tomori was protesting his innocence and after seeing it a few times I don't actually believe he touched him, I don't believe there was any contact. Um, shortly after that Andres Christensen sets Tammy Abraham free with an excellent through ball from the defensive line. Um, he did hit the ball straight at the goalkeeper. Could he have done better with that? Maybe. Yes, he should have. He should have scored, in my opinion. But I think he was right to take the shot on because Mason Mount was um, running into the box. But I do believe that he was correct to take the shot because Mason Mount did to, he did appear to be marked by um, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Cesar Aspilqueta did have the ball in the back of the net in the 27th minute, but it was ruled out for offside. Um, because Mason Mount was adjudged to be in an offside position when he received the ball during the build-up. Yes, it was the correct decision. It was very marginal, but I do, do believe that um, the lines were, could, have, could have flagged for offside there, and that would have saved us a bit of time. But yes, Roberto Firmino did end up making it 2-0 to Liverpool in the 30th minute with a brilliant header. I'm not entirely sure if that, if that was a free kick in the first place. I'll have to look at it again. However, we should have done a lot better to deny Roberto, the, Roberto Firmino the space in which he had because to allow Roberto Firmino to have 
a free header in the box is criminal. You cannot be allowing Roberto Firmino um, a free header in the box because he is a brilliant player, but he's not renowned for his heading. Chelsea did create a few chances to get a goal back, but they didn't take them. Hokeo Tomori um, inadvertently um, catches Andres Christensen on his knee as they both attempted to block a Mohamed Salah shot. He was, he was replaced by um, Kurt Zuma as he wasn't able to continue. Cesar Astaboqueta then put in a brilliant cross for Tammy Abraham to get on the end of, and he did manage to do so. However, he only managed to head wide. Overall, it was not a bad first half. I felt as though we did well to contain Mohamed Salah and, limited, and limit, the, limit the amount of chances in which Liverpool created. However, we made two defensive mistakes which ended up proving costly. Now for my thoughts on the second half. I felt as though both sides made a decent start to the second half. Liverpool looked as though they wanted to get that um, decisive third goal. Um, they looked as though they, they really were going to get that decisive goal, to be honest. Um, Roberto Firmino did get a chance from a corner at the near post from I was gonna say from a corner but with a volley um, yes he did that that chance was a volley and Kepa did very well to dive and stop the shot from going in Chelsea almost put the ball into the back of their own net but Kepa's reflexes um, prevented such from happening Chelsea began to put um, Liverpool under pressure in search of a goal and Kante did come close with a shot from outside the box but it just ended up going wide and that was unlucky in my opinion um, Chelsea create a few chances. No, 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 not that. Between the 60th and the 70th minute of the match, not many clear-cut chances were created, except for the for the um, for the chance in which Tammy Abraham had, where he attempted to flick the ball into the back of the net from close range. However, it did go out for a corner, but I'm not entirely sure if it was a corner because I didn't really see where the contact from the Liverpool player came from. But N'Golo Kante gets one back for Chelsea with an with an absolutely gorgeous solo goal as he gets past Fabinho with ease and smashes the ball into the top corner from the edge of the box and that was an excellent goal and for me that was no more than we deserved. We definitely deserved the goal um, because we were putting a lot of pressure onto Liverpool and we were causing them problems and after that goal we continued to do so and we managed to create a few chances. Alonso, Mason Mount and Batshuayi all had chances to equalise late on, but Liverpool managed to get away with the points. And overall, I do think that the defensive mistakes in, in which we made in the first half were what cost us um, the points. But I actually thought that we played well, especially in the second half, and caused Liverpool a lot of problems. And on another day, we probably would have gotten the points or even a point. But now for the positives and the negatives in which I've taken from yesterday's match and starting off with the positives, I thought that Fakir Tomori was excellent. It was an excellent performance from him. He did a job on Mohamed Salah. He kept him quiet um, and covered for Alonso several times throughout the match. And that's not me saying that Alonso was poor. I actually felt that he was all right. But Alonso did have to go forward a lot because we needed him to go forward so that we can um, target the left-hand side. And throughout the match, we did do so. The second positive is N'Golo Kante. What a fantastic goal from him. He ran his socks off and controlled the midfield in the second half. The only negative I have is the fact that we have not been good from set pieces, defensively and offensively, and I believe that we need to do a lot of work in training um, on set pieces. But yes, that is it for my thoughts on yesterday's match. Let me know what your thoughts on yesterday's match are in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to respond. Now to conclude this review, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Carabao Cup fixture which will be taking place on Wednesday night at Stamford Bridge against Grimsby Town. I think that whoever starts on Wednesday should be good enough to help the team get through to the next round. I do think that we should be able to keep a clean sheet and that is no disrespect to Grimsby Town. I just think that we do have the better players and we are a higher ranked side in the competition. However, that does not mean that, does not mean that we should take them lightly because they do deserve deserve to be here. Every team that has gotten this state to this stage of the competition deserves to be at this stage of the competition. So we have to be careful because Grimsby Town are a decent side. I do not know too much about them, but I do believe that we should win. But that is the end of this review. I hope we I hope you all I hope you all enjoyed it. I am sorry for the for the fact that my voice has gotten very deep. I do have a sore throat and I do have a bit of the I do have a bit of a cold. 
also I might be able to go to the match I'll, I'll let you I'll let you guys know but my next video will be my preview for that game but thank you for watching like comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you very soon for some more videos come on you blues come on Frank Lampard hopefully we get the um, the home win on Wednesday and peace